Why is he waving? He's saying, shoo wee, that's some spicy stuff. Hey everyone, it's Cashew, and I have another haul from Jungle Gems. This time, it's the hot and spicy edition. I bought a bunch of spicy snacks that I'm going to use in future videos, and I'll keep that secret. You'll just have to wait and see. And I also got some hot sauce, so I can't wait to show you. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. So here's an overview of my haul. And I can't wait to show you each and every individual item. Starting off, I have Blue Diamond Almonds, the Bold Edition. I found three. And I've had this one before. It's the Sweet Thai Chili. And it's really good. Followed by the Wasabi and Soy Sauce. And the Habanero Barbecue. Some of you may have had these already. These are Chester's Fries, Flaming Hot. But I've never tried them, at least not yet. Here I found two cinnamon candies that are probably similar to one another. I'm going to compare and contrast them at some point. Hot Tamales and Red Hots. Some of you may have had Bean Boozled from the Harry Potter flavors. But this is the Fiery Five Challenge. Starts off with Sriracha. Jalapeno, Cayenne, Habanero, and Carolina Reaper. Those of you who've been to Jungle Gyms before know that they sell Jelly Bellies in bulk. So I got a bag of Tabasco flavored. This is Jack Link's Beef Jerky, and this is in Jalapeno flavored. So I have the feeling that's going to have a little bit of spice to it, but not a lot. I found this bag of Cheddar Crisps that are fire sauce flavored from Taco Bell. So I think that might be an interesting flavor. Especially when you combine it with the Cheddar Crisp. I've never seen these chips before at Kroger. These are artisan style kettle cooked chips and they're made by the same company that makes Takis. And the one on the right is Jalapeno and the other is Diablo. And by the name it suggests that it's probably going to be a little hotter because it's made with red hot chili peppers. We'll see. Have any of you ever heard of the Pocky One Chip Challenge? That's where Pocky has created one chip so spicy that a lot of people, most people, can't handle it. Well, they also offer a bag of chips that you can handle. They're in haunted ghost pepper flavor. And this is an offering from Late July Snacks called Bacon Habanero Chips. And I'm anxious to try this because... Sometimes when they say they're bacon flavored, I usually don't taste the bacon. So it'll be interesting to see if I can taste both the habanero and the bacon. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the Kettle brand, and this is their hot jalapeno flavored. It'll be interesting to see, even though it's jalapeno, if it'll be that hot. If you're a pepperhead, jalapenos really aren't that hot. And for the award of coolest packaging, it goes to Kroger of all places for their spicy chili and lime flavored chips. And yes, as you can tell, this I did not get from Jungle Gyms. The jalapeno beef jerky was not the only meat product that I bought. I also bought some of these sticks. I have a Duke's Tall Boy Hot and Spicy and Hatch Green Chili flavored. And from what I've been told, Hatch is a town in New Mexico that is best known for their chilies. And they're supposed to be really great chilies at that. And this is a chef's cut jalapeno pork and beef stick. And I've never seen these before. These are Hannah's Red Hot Sausage. One, I guess, is the original Red Hot. And then the one on the right is TNT Red Hot. So I'm presuming the one on the right must be considerably hotter. And these three bags of spicy peanuts come from the same company that make Takis as well. And they're all three Red Hot Chili Pepper and Lime flavored. And I'll be curious to see how they taste differently from one another. Uh, the one in the middle is Fuego flavored, and that's a flavor of Taki. So that'll be interesting to see if it tastes anything like the Takis. And since I've been making references to Takis, I'd be remiss if I did not include them. And so here they are, Takis, Fuego and Nitro flavored. The Fuego is hot chili pepper and lime. And the nitro is habanero and lime. So it'll be interesting to see how they compare. And I'm guessing maybe the nitro will be hotter. 
For some of you, when you think of spicy food, you think of something from Central or South America or Texas or the U.S. in general, but I bet a lot of you don't think of the U.K. Well, in England, I know, they love a good curry, and this is something from Walker's. And if you recall my vlog from my British snacks, Walker's is a U.K. brand crisp or chip, and they offer here Thai sweet chili, and on the right, Monster Munch, Flaming Hot. So it'll be interesting to see how they compare with U.S. brands. I almost walked right past this. This is a Jungle Gems brand candy bar, 72% dark Belgian chocolate, and it's Chipotle chili flavored. And I can't wait to try this. I've never tried a Jungle Gems candy bar, so it should be fun. And wrapping up my hot and spicy haul from Jungle Gems, are these gummies I found, and I'm really excited to try them. They are jalapeno pepper, habanero pepper, and ghost pepper. And they're gummies in the shape of the peppers, and the jalapeno is sour apple, the habanero is orange, and the ghost pepper is cherry flavored. So it'll be interesting to see how they combine the fruit and the pepper. Okay, now let me go show you the hot sauces I bought. Okay, let me show you my haul from Jungle Gems of hot sauces. I bought 15, I can't believe it. Uh, the first one is uh, Tabasco's Raspberry Chipotle. And this goes great on ice cream. And I've told several people about it and they didn't believe me and they tried it. And now they use this regularly on their ice cream. Uh, the second that I bought is Howler Monkey, the original. And this appeared on one of the seasons of Hot Ones if you've ever seen it. And this is a very nice sauce. It's very uh, cost effective. It was only $5. It was on sale for $3.69. So if you get a chance, you should try it out. And another hot sauce that I really like, it's the company itself, Bravado Spice Company. And I've had this before. This is ghost pepper and blueberry. And I'm looking forward to trying this out on ice cream as well. But it says it's a very hot sauce but I didn't find that to be the case so I'll be uh, curious to see how well this goes on ice cream and another hot sauce that the company makes is a pineapple habanero and this is only medium level and I think this would go quite nicely on ice cream as well uh, the next couple of companies I want to show you I really enjoy uh, this is Queen Majesty's Scotch Bonnet and Ginger Hot Sauce. Now, I'm not sure if this would go well on ice cream, but the woman who owns this makes some really wonderfully crafted hot sauces, and I hope to show you some of them in future vlogs. And I didn't know much about this next company because I just had not heard of it before, but I like the name, and if anybody's ever watched this channel for very long, you know I love goats and alpacas and sheeps and llamas, and so this is called Angry Goat Pepper Company, and they have some really cool sauces. Uh, again, on the hot ones, they had their Hippy Dippy sauce, which was a mild sauce, and I bought Pink Elephant. It's cranberry and ghost pepper. So that should be really good to put on some ice cream as well. And the other blend that they have is a yellow flamingo hot sauce. It's mango and banana with habanero. And I noticed a lot of the habanero sauces have uh, mango added to it. One sauce that I bought, and I'm not really sure if it's a sauce or just kind of a condiment, it calls itself an all-purpose sauce. It's sweet sriracha with miso sauce. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm curious to try this out, but my hopes are kind of set low on this one. One that I bought, and this is another that was inexpensive, it was about $3.99, and I like the artwork on it. A lot of the hot sauces have wonderful artwork. It's almost like cigar boxes or some of the craft beer, they have really great labels. And this is called Mango Passion Pepper Sauce, and fruity and a wee bit hot, but check out the B on there. I really like that. <clears throat> and Humble House was also on Hot Ones one season for the Ancho Merida. It's a smoky tamarind sauce. And I think this will, I don't think it would go well on ice cream, but 
I think it's going to be a really great sauce. If it weren't, it wouldn't be on the hot ones. And another company that I like, and I'll tell you why in just a minute, is the Spicy Shark. And this is another small batch, what you would call craft hot sauce company. And they make a smoked maple sriracha. And I've been told people who don't like sriracha like this. And the reason I wanted to buy them was for two reasons. One is the Spicy Shark Megalodon Carolina Reaper Sauce. So hopefully this will really pack the heat. And if you ever get a chance, go to their website and buy a t-shirt that they sell and it goes towards shark conservation and they're trying to fight finning. And if you don't know what finning is, it's where fishermen will catch sharks and the cartilage from the fins is worth quite a bit of money. People use it for different things medicinally or for uh, adding to their food, but the shark meat's not worth much. So what the fishermen will do is they capture the shark, cut off the fins, and then throw the animal back into the water, whether it's alive or dead. And it's rather cruel, and they're trying to fight that. So buy a t-shirt from them. Uh, another company I like is called Fat Cat and they have a sriracha that I know people who don't like sriracha like this sriracha. It's a bacon sriracha and they have great names. They have one called Hissy Fit and this is just called Strawberry Serrano Hot Sauce and I imagine that will go pretty good on ice cream as well. And then they have one that's very hot supposedly and it's called Chairman Meow's Revenge and so you have cat here and it's supposed to be hotter than average so we'll see and then lastly in my haul I bought a rel relatively cheap hot sauce it's supposed to be very good it's Melinda's habanero mango and again there's the habanero and the mango and this was only two dollars and fifty cents and even though it's habanero it's supposed to be pretty mild and I imagine I'll get my money's worth at the very least when I put it on ice cream. So you'll see there's a running theme here of ice cream with hot sauce. Well, there's another haul from Jungle Gems. And as you can tell, if you're a pepperhead, it's like heaven. And in the comments down below, if there's a spicy snack you enjoy that I didn't cover or a hot sauce that you enjoy, tell me what it is. And maybe down the road, I'll do a vlog on it. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And if you'd like, share it on your social media. In the description box down below, I have links to my Teespring, my PayPal, and my Patreon. Until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off. And as I was putting away my snacks, I noticed I forgot to show you this one. Beyond Hot, a chocolate bar from hell. Not a sponsor.